telling me all kinds about my nose. <laughs> <laughs> we're good, we're good. It's technical difficulties, it's everybody. Right. Technical difficulties, uh, you know, all that fun stuff. The wheel's hitting out here. Down here at the MVP. Woo! Beerfest. That's right. Wisdom, North Carolina. How's it going? Dad Stadium. NC Beer Pride. Hey. NC Brooker. That's it. <laughs> Podcast That's is it. done. Well, no. That's it. That's it. No, no. We got lots. We got lots to go with. <laughs> what do you do? Explain that to the people. Yep. And then show them why you're such an important part of the ecosystem, which is North Carolina Beer. Oh, man. Uh, okay, so first part of that question, what we do. So we, uh, we help promote and advocate for the state of North Carolina's craft beer scene. Uh, the way we do that is through uh, all of our social media uh, outlets. You know, Instagram's our biggest one, but we're also on Facebook and Twitter as well, too. Um, but basically what we do, we just go around and we advertise and promote for uh, North Carolina breweries. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we have a lot of fun. We go and visit the breweries, uh, we take pictures of them there, uh, we kind of give people a behind the scenes kind of sneak peek. You know, the production facilities, you know, the tanks, the brew house, stuff that you normally wouldn't see kind of as a lay person. And kind of give you a picture behind uh, behind the curtain, so to say. Um, and right. at the same time, we tell people about the the beers we drink, and we don't rate beers though. And that's a big thing. A lot of people ask me, like, "Hey, we start rating the beers. We want we want you to rate beers." And I and my thing to that is, I tell people, I don't rate beers because my palate is different than your palate, right? So, so something that I may not personally like, you may absolutely love. You know what? I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. All right. Because, I, I mean, I just rated beer just because I was like, this is things to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's good. But but, but that's me personally, right? That, that's my own personal thing. Yeah. Because all we ever want to do is add to and never take away from, right? So, like, if I went to a brewery, let's just say, I went to X brewery and I rated the beers, you know, uh, a four out of ten, right? All across the board, right? Yes. Mediocre, right? Would that make you want to show up to that brewery? Probably not. Probably not, right? So, what we want to do is we only want to ever add to, never take away from. Yes. Sorry. Uh, so, what we'll do is we'll tell people, hey, these are the beers that we tried, and if any of those beers sound interesting to you, get out to that brewery and try the beers for yourself. Yes. If you want to rate them from there, go for it. Yes. Go for it, I mean, because if that's what you do, awesome. God bless you, it's the United States of America, man. We all can do everything we want, right? So we have the freedom to do that, but yeah. us personally, that's just not something that we've gotten into, even though we've had a lot of people request that from us, gotcha. and say, we want you to rate the beers, and I'll just tell them, I'll go, hey, I won't rate them, because something that I may not personally like, you may absolutely love. Like, me personally, I'm not a big IPA guy, that's right? But I will drink them, and I appreciate them for what they are, gotcha. but my rating rating of an IPA may not be as high as your rating of an IPA. Gotcha. Who, who, let's say you absolutely love IPAs, right? Gotcha. So, so that's kind of what, um, that's in a nutshell kind of what we do. Uh, but cool. at the same time, we uh, we do promotions like for MVP Beer Fest. Oh yeah. The promotions for them, so. Oh yeah, you could. Yeah, so we, yeah, we gave away two free tickets. Um, you know, we do a lot of that with a lot of different festivals. Um, the latest one we just did was with uh, Barrel Culture out of uh, Durham. They're having their Barrel Culture Invitational. I think it's October 12th. What is it? Uh, they're bringing in a bunch of different breweries from around, throughout the country. Uh, 300 tickets available. That's it. Every ticket is basically a VIP ticket. Wait, what? Yeah, dude, it's gonna be unbelievable. It's gonna what? be yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And they only have a little, a few amount of tickets left. So uh, we did, we did a giveaway. We gave away two free tickets. Um, you know, two, 200 dollars value tickets. Uh, but I mean, right. it's gonna be out of this world. It's gonna be absolutely insane. It's the first time they're doing it, and uh, you know, worked worked closely with Barrel Culture to to get the point across of what they want, how they want it. To do and That's personally, exclusive. I am stoked about this. No, y'all no, no, exclusive, exclusive. No, no, no man. We're just oh no, man, we, just, we just have a good time, man. We we just know, you know, we want we want the craft beer scene in the state of North Carolina to be the best that there is in the country. Understand. Right. So, so how do we do that? Right. How do we how do we do that? Right. Because it's like it's one of those things that's like, you know, a brewery can only go around saying how good their beers are. Yeah, so somebody's like, of course you're gonna say your beers are great. You're not always gonna go around saying your beers are crappy, right? But if you got somebody else to, to do that promotion for you, somebody who's, you know, who, who has a voice, who's been to a lot of different festivals, who's been to a lot of different breweries, right? And if we're telling you, hey man, this is gonna be good, we're not gonna, we're not gonna blow smoke up your butt, right? Because that's yes. not what we're about, right? If somebody, 
that's the thing. Like, if someone wants me to do a promotion for them or something like that, I'll tell them, hey, send me your product or send me what you got going on, mm -hmm. and if I feel it's worth a dang, I'll put it out to my, my, my people, people who follow me. That's what I'm talking about. Because I don't want, I don't want to just throw out anything willy-nilly just for it, because then that, that cheapens us, that cheapens our brain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. No, no, and that's cool. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I mean, I mean, the first thing I saw whenever I saw y'all, y'all had some dope-ass merch. <laughs> Thank you. And it was like, it was just kept getting dope. Uh, this, this is the newest one here. Hey, you see the flag. My, my shirt just says, <laughs> NC Bruiser, <laughs> North Carolina Bruiser Bears. Yeah, man. You got three color. I got one color. Hey, so. you know, but, you know, we all started somewhere. I mean, like, yeah. I, I started this thing two years ago with an idea. You yeah. know, I was like, man, I was like, you know, I worked at a brewery. I was one of the managers at a brewery, and I would, you know, I would see people come in, they taste the beer, they write down some stuff, take another sip, write down more stuff, and I'm like, man, I was like, people are really into this crap beer stuff. I mean, really into it. And I was like, you know, really, really short story long because uh, I like to talk. My wife, that's who you saw in the background. She probably be over here kicking at me or throwing, right there. Or throwing something at me, telling me to shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a talker, man. I'm a talker. I'm a, I'm a natural born salesman. That's what I do full time is sales. Uh, but anyway, to kind of give you the, the story of us, you know, I got laid off from an insurance shop I was working at, and I was like, man, I was like, I need to come up with something. I'm like, man, I'm not good at building anything. I'm not good at, you know, I'm, I can ruin something for you, but, you know, demolition, you know, people don't really pay, I guess, much for it. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not good at mowing lawns. So I can't do landscaping. Hey, you, they actually pay more than you think. That's true. <laughs> you know, they actually pay more than you think. <laughs> Maybe I'm, in the wrong, maybe I'm in the wrong, uh, no. wrong line. No, you're not. No? Okay, good. All right, good. good. Validation. That's all I needed, validation. <laughs> but, but anyway, so I was like, man, I was like, you know, I was like, there's gay pride, there's brown pride, there's black pride, there's white pride. I mean, there's nothing for beer. I was like, how can there so be you nothing for beer? Yes, I know. I was yes. like, this is insane to me. Wait, think about that. Wait, the story think about that. This, think about that. What? <laughs> this is this, this is a, this is more crazy than the whole um pony sword story. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Be? Well, think about that though. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Don't think too hard, man, because the harder you think about it, the more you're going to I'm just laughing in my head, like, what the hell do you mean? Yeah. Wow. But if you stop and think about it, right, there was nothing for that. And I was like, I did almost the same, almost the same reaction you did. I'm like, okay, this is impossible. Like, there's got to be something. Somebody has to have something. Like, I literally spent the night. I was up to like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, couldn't sleep. My mind was racing a million miles an hour. I was like, what can I do? What can I do? And I'm like, man. So I started checking everything, websites, anything to do with beer, anything to do with the word pride, checking Secretary of State website for the state of North Carolina, or other, is there a business name that's out there that has beer or pride anywhere in here? And there was absolutely nothing. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, I've tapped into a multi-billion dollar industry, a niche. In a multi-billion dollar industry, I was like, how does nobody have nothing for this? And quick, quick note, now yeah. I know we were on the MC Brew Group. Yes. I also run a podcast called The Pop-Up Podcast. Okay. That's literally why I did here. But I'm drinking beer right now, so it has to be in St. Brew Crew. That's right, that's right. One of the things that entrepreneurs always, always will tell you is, find a niche, and then you dig deeper. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You dig deeper. Yep. Because then you'll find more people down here. Yes. So that's what you just did. For real. In beer. Absolutely. But guess what? I'm doing the same thing too. Because nobody, I won't say nobody, but the caliber of stuff that I'm doing in North Carolina of, of tasting beer, yep. yeah. and I still buy my flights. I still do, you know, I don't do none of this for free. Yep. I have sponsors, a couple yep. sponsors, whatever. But shout them out, shout them out. Um, wait, what you Air about? New Air Motors. <laughs> um, my mom. That's right. Thanks, mom. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's, I think that's right. And everybody else. Everybody else is sponsoring me. I thank you all. But my mom. That's right. The new air motors. That's it. Yeah. But um, niching down, 
doubling down on that niche. Yes. And really finding a core audience who appreciates what you're doing. I think that's a really yeah. big thing. Yeah, and, and, and honestly, it's it's still mind-blowing to me. I mean, like, here we are. I, mean, I started this thing in January of 2017 yes. with with no no followers, no presence, no nothing. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's starting a brand new brand out of nothing. Like, the hardest thing for me was answering the question of, like, well, what is NC Beer Pride? Because nobody's ever heard of it before. Yes. Right? It was, and I, I, when I first was starting off, I attributed it to, I was like, well, I always come back to people like, well, what's salt like? You know what I'm saying? And everyone's like, oh, yeah, I guess that kind of no, makes sense. So, no, I'll tell you what, so tell if, you're, if you're on the coast, right? But yet, I'm from Pensacola, Florida. Right, but yet you have all these landlocked folks with the back of their trucks and, covered in salt life. And, so and Montana. That's right, but they rocking that salt <laughs> life. They, they like, rocking salt life up there in the, uh, 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 Nebraska. That's right. Like, what? So, I mean, so it was one of those things where it was people, some people you had to explain it to, and they, you can see the gears slowly starting to turn. Yeah, Other people, they immediately got it and were like, oh my God, it makes so much sense. And, you know, so yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, this is still, it's still new for me. It's still new for us. Like, it still blows my mind that people come up to me, like, I have people come up to me at this festival being like, Hey, you're the NC Beer Pride guy. I'm like, yeah, hey, I'm Chris. I have a name. How's it going? No, no, yeah, like, no, I'm NC Beer Pride. You know, which is fine, but it's 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 still it's still almost like a, a shock to me that we've gotten where we've gotten in a short period of time mm-hmm. through the hard work and you know a lot of time spent you know putting in that effort to to build our to build our fan. I want to say fan base, but to build the people who fan have base. an interest in in what we do. And yeah, it's still it's still really cool and we're still extremely I'm, passionate about what we do. I don't think they're customers because you're providing more of an outlet yeah. or, or a, a knowledge base of something yeah. for yeah. your people. Yeah, I mean, like, I think fan, fans is cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, I I really appreciate it. I, lo- I love meeting new people all the time. You know, I try to take the time for everybody, try to ask them, hey, what's your name? How'd you hear about us? You know. Um, yeah, because there was nothing worse for me than, like, when I would meet somebody who I looked up to or someone who I followed on social media, and I finally met them in person, and they were a big-time a-hole, you know, for sure. And I'm like, oh, man, that kind of sucks. It's like, because you put out this persona on social media of, like, you're one way, but then when I meet you in person, you're a completely different person. And I try not to be that person. I try to be the same person I'm on social media that you're going to meet in person. Right. I try to keep things light. I try to keep it fun. I try to keep it entertaining. Uh, if you follow yeah. our stories, man, my wife will tell you she hates it. I always post, you know, <laughs> embarrassing photos of her, <laughs> or horrible photos of her. Like today. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up here. Uh, no, seems to me that way in post production, I'm gonna put it right here. Hang on, hang on. Edit. <laughs> Come back. Edit. Like that picture right there is on our story, um, yeah. But you know, <laughs> I do that, so that's what we do. We had fun with it. Um, anyway, she knows I love her, but you know, yeah, we have a lot of fun. But yeah, here's our. I'll plug myself if that's cool. So here's our here's our Instagram. Y'all can follow us on there. Uh, NC underscore B underscore Pride. Um, and we yeah, we have a lot of fun. I mean, it's just, that's what we do. We try to have a lot of fun. We do a lot of giveaways. Yeah. Uh, we try to get as many people involved in the craft beer scene as possible. Um, you know, whether it be through giveaways or, you know, featuring breweries where, hey, there may be a brewery that you've never heard of before and you're like, man, hey, I go to that city all the time. Um, yeah. We try to be the voice for the small guy, you know what I mean? And even, even some of the big guys, you know, that are big in the state as well, too. Um, I think everybody needs a voice, and that's just what we do. We our slogan is our little elevator speech is we promote and advocate for the state of North Carolina craft beer scene. And the way we do that is through social media. Oh, this is barely my slogan. I drink beer. <laughs> I know things. Hey, and there's nothing wrong with that slogan. <laughs> I mean, I think a little hobbit on, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Game of Thrones said the same thing. Yeah, I mean, but, yeah, he did. but you said it first. You said it first. I mean, it's all good. <laughs> I just totally stole it. Like, yeah, hey, I drink beer and I know things. I mean, I know things. There's nothing wrong with that. And you have a great <laughs> podcast. Appreciate it, yeah, appreciate man. it, bro. Shameless plugs are done. That's right. Um, back, back to, back to more. We beer. gotta drink some more beer. Oh, yes, I'm drinking Shift Blue. Oh, by incendiary. The, we are. It's my boys over there, man. That's it. Yeah, they're great. So 
what has been your favorite, now I'm going to interview you a little bit, what has been your favorite beer so far that you've tried? Here? Here, at MVP Beer Festival in Winston-Salem. First, first annual? Honestly. Yes. I'm sure all your listeners want is your honest opinion. I won't say it's the best, but I think it's the one that stands out the most. Oh, that's a good one. Um, Pony Source, because yep. they're behind me. Okay. It was Oyster Saison, because it was just super crisp. Oyster. I mean, crisp. And balance. Yeah. And the way he explained how they made it or whatever, I was like, that's why it tastes so good. That is very interesting because usually crisp is not a describing word for a saison. So my uh, that's my glass is empty, and that's what I'm going to be going for right after we're done here. But uh, yeah, there you go. My favorite one that I've had here so far has been the uh, salted caramel goza from D9. Okay, so I got it. It has absolutely blown my mind because, like, you take a sip of that and you're like, oh my god, that is salted caramel. Yeah, I'm doing it to you. Oh! Yeah, oh! <laughs> you knew it was a matter of time. You knew it was a matter of time. I mean, I had to. We had to. We had to. You know, there's that girl back there, too. <laughs> hey, that's all love, man. That's, that's, that's how awesome this craft beer community is, man. I mean, and that's what.